Hey guys, it's Adam here from F150LEDs.com. Today we're going to be installing our Cree LED 90 watt Paladin Series light bar on our Ford Ranger. This kit adds an amazing aesthetic upgrade to the truck and it's extremely bright. So let's go ahead and jump into the install right now. Sincerely, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. We really appreciate it and we don't want you to miss out on any of the great content for your Ford truck. All right, let's get back to the video. Okay, so the first thing we need to do to mount this bar to the truck is go ahead and mount our mounting brackets to the bar. So what we're gonna do is take a washer, excuse me, we're gonna go to the lock washer, then a washer. If you can pick it up, there we go. We'll slide it through this hole here, and then we're just gonna hand tighten this onto the bar. Now when you're doing so, you're gonna make sure that the flat part of the bracket is going inside towards the center of the bar. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the other side of the bar. And for the time being, we just wanna get them hand tight, because we are gonna to have to remove these to mount them to the truck. We're just doing this so we can find our mounting locations. Now that we have our brackets mounted to the bar, it's time to find our mounting hole locations. And to do so, is we're just gonna slide this bar inside the lower intake. And then we're gonna center the bar with the center of the truck. And so after we do that, we're gonna take two pieces of electrical tape or painter's tape, whatever you have around the house, and just mark both sides, the in and the outside of where the mounting bracket is and then now we'll be ready to drill our hole. All right, so now that we've marked off where our mounting bracket needs to go, we went ahead and removed our mounting bracket from the bar and we're gonna line it up here. And we're gonna take a Sharpie or you can take a pencil, whatever you have lying around. And we're gonna mark the inner hole of the bracket. I'm just gonna reach in there and mark it like so. So now that we've marked where our hole needs to be, we're gonna take a drill with a quarter inch size drill bit and then drill through this plastic piece right here. It does help a little bit, it is a little pliable so you can bend it towards you a little bit so you can get a better angle as you're drilling. So we're just gonna go ahead and drill this hole now. And now we are ready to mount our brackets to the truck. All right, now that we have our hole drilled, you're gonna take the smaller bolt inside the uh, included hardware and slide it through the innermost hole and then go ahead and mount your bracket to the truck by taking the included hardware you'll just reach behind here to slide on your washer then the lock washer and then take the smaller nut that comes with the hardware attach it to the bottom. We've gone ahead and done all of these steps to the other side of the truck for the sake of time in this video. But we do want to make sure we show you every single step, at least on one side of the truck. All right, so now that we have a couple threads started on our nut, we're gonna take a size 3 8 wrench and tighten down this bracket all the way to the truck. All right, now that we've mounted both brackets to the truck, we're gonna mount our light bar to the brackets. So to do so, we're just gonna take that hardware that we used earlier, just get it hand tight on your right side, hand tight on your left side, and then we can come back through with our Allen wrench and tighten it down all the way. Now that our light bar is mounted to the truck, we need to run this female end of our wiring harness down um, in, through the engine bay down to the opening at the bottom of the truck. So that way we can connect it to the light bar's harness. So we're just gonna run it down through here, like so. And you just wanna keep running it until you see it come out from underneath the bumper. 
All right, now that we have our wiring harness ran underneath the truck, you can pull down on this plastic piece here and you'll be able to see the connector from the light bar. You can grab it and pull it through like so. And then we wanna connect these connections together. There's a small tab that you line up and then we wanna tighten down our lock collar to just fully weatherproof and seal up this connection here. Now that we've done that, we're gonna pull back down on this plastic piece and tuck the connection and any extra wiring harness up underneath this plastic piece so it holds it into place. We're gonna to need to connect our wiring harness to the truck's battery. So we're gonna take a size 10 millimeter socket and just back off the nut and slide over this terminal ring and then tighten it back down. And then we're gonna do the same for the power. Just tighten this back down. All right, now that we connected the harness to the battery, we're gonna take our IP68 connections here line up the tab on them and then we're going to use our lock collar to just really firmly connect this make sure it's waterproof so we're going to go ahead and lock that down all the way now that we've done that we really prefer using our wireless remote and receiver for this kit so what we're going to do is remove the 3m backing or excuse me the protective covering to expose the 3M backing, and then we're gonna find a good mounting location. We're gonna mount ours right here. What you're gonna do is just press down firmly on that for about 15 to 30 seconds, maybe even a minute to really get some good adhesion on there. Then we're gonna take the female connection from our wiring harness and connect it to the male connection of our uh, wireless receiver. So we're gonna connect it like so. All right, now that we've connected our bar to the battery and we've tested our bar out, all there's left to do is zip tie up our wiring harness. That way it's not freely moving about in the engine bay and we're good to go. So that's all there is to installing our 90 watt Cree LED Paladin Series light bar on your Ford Ranger. You can check this kit out along with all of our other amazing custom LED products for your Ford truck at F150LEDs.com. We truly appreciate your support and we look forward to seeing you there. Thanks guys.